Okay, some users yesterday asked some questions about files they have and their use of them. Let's first start with the déjà vu files. Supposedly, this file and that file are low quality scans. Let's have a look at what it looks like. I've been in this book here on the books before, so that's why it's not starting from the beginning. So here we are. Let's have a page turn and another one and a third one. And it looks a bit like the box is a bit faster than the pocketbook. Okay, image quality wise, I'd say this is the pocketbook. It's a bit hard to see on my webcam. And up here, I also see a word, classical. Let's search for the word classical. And now, where would that be? So I guess that means no searching on the books, on the M92. Let's have a look here. There we have a search option. I type the word classical. And off we go. That wasn't too bad. Let's see if there's another occurrence of the word. Now here I'm quite surprised. I expected that to be much slower. This is now the third um, try to find the word. And it seems to be reasonably fast, really. This is now on page 175, as you can see down here. So I'd say not bad at all. Let's have another look if the M92 really doesn't have a search. Okay. I don't see one. Okay, so far so good. Let's have a look at another file. And I think it was this file here that is of medium quality. I'm looking at those files the first time now, so I have no clue what they contain. So maybe we are both up for a bit of a surprise here. So this was not pressed at the same time. Let's press again. And once more. Okay, a bit like before. In here, the text, uh, it's probably nice to see on the video, here doesn't seem to be quite of the same quality. There's the refresh button, uh, button, button at the um, bottom of uh, the screen. I press that. And okay, we see it's actually part of the scan. So let's see if we can jump to another page here. Let's say page 200. And maybe we can guess it here. Here it's a bit easier because there is this position slide at the bottom 
which I actually find quite handy to use. And yes, that's what it looks like. Let's have a look again for the surge. I mean, would be surprised if you can see anything new here. I don't see it. Let's see if there's a table of content. There actually is. Let's see if the pocketbook agrees on that. Okay, that seems to be kind of the same. I quite like that the table of contents folds in and out because I find the list here on the right side a bit long. <coughs> we were at page 200 I think. As you see here there are also the last open pages which is filling up over time it seems okay 200 here we are and I think if I now go to open page again you actually see the page I've been on before that was 39 so if I would now go to 39 and go on open page again I see the page 200 here so it's relatively easy to jump between pages. I guess searching for a mathematical formula is not what I'm going to do, but I see a word complement here. Let's search for that. And off we go. And let's see if that is in there again. Yes. And I really find that quite nice. We have to try that with the PDF in a short moment. What might be interesting as well, let's leave the search here, is um, the annotation. Let's have a look what we can do here. So here we can sketch in the déjà vu file. So this to me looks rather important. Let's see what we have here. That is not too much, I would say. Okay, I think we can't create a node and the uh, déjà vu. Let's try again. Okay. Let's copy that as image. Now that's interesting. Okay. So that I guess would mean, oh yes, here we are. Now in the table of contents we see that we've actually taken a note. And if I click on it, we're at least on the page. We would need to check if the section that we copied is now um, in the export. But first, well, maybe that I actually do that in another video. Let's have a look at an even higher quality file. And I think that would be this file. Okay, I had a quick glimpse into this one as well. Here we are. Let's switch pages. By the way, on the Pocketbook 903, I'm on the 2.1.2 Release Candidate 6 Fast Screen Update Driver, just for 
reference maybe. Now this is interesting. Oh, okay. Here we are on page four already. And here we are now as well. Let's switch again. And somehow they don't seem to agree on what the page is. Aha. Uh -huh. It seems to me. I go back here that maybe we are in the wrong zoom level so let's zoom out okay so really we are not um, we were not at the right zoom level before let's check that here and here I can only can only go down to 75 percent but that seems to be good enough. Let's switch to 75 here as well. Hmm. That seems to be non a different understanding of 75. So maybe it's more 40%. Yeah, that looks kind of similar. You might find here that display here is a bit well less black than it is over here it's probably not that easy to see in the video okay let's scroll one or two more pages I press here okay now they finally agree and you see that probably on the left it's kind of blurish and it looks like that in real life as well okay let's go to the middle of the book let's say page 300 and here as well that was a bit too much there is, a, I think, a method to jump to a page as well. Okay, here we are. It's both kind of small at that zoom level, but here it's still, well, readable. Of course, my blurry webcam doesn't show that properly, but that's all I have for the moment. Well, this in reality is barely readable. My experience zooming in might actually help quite a bit. Let's have a look. Let's try 85. Ah, that gives us a bit more of the page. Oops, that was the wrong one. Yes. Okay, zoom a bit more. 90%. And it's of not quite so good a quality if we zoom in here a bit more let's say 60 percent okay that was a bit too much 50 percent maybe well it's not really it's not that similar Um, still, even though it's smaller, it is better readable. Now, usually what I find is when I turn a page, there is an impression that in between it's a bit darker for a short moment. So that lets me think that maybe it's more a software issue. But right now I would prefer 
um, the M92 for actually reading this specific file. However, I guess also here we won't find any search, which basically sucks. While here, I can actually search for Algebra. Okay, that seems to work quite fine. So we can find it even though we might not be as capable of reading it. Or it's not as easy to read. Speaking of algebra, there was another file that was posted. Let's have a look at that file. Of course, well not of course, sadly enough, I'm not capable of reading it. So all I can do is show it to you. And here on the right side I see a kind of darkish gray grid in the display. It's probably not enough to really disturb the reading. I'm just surprised. And let's see if we have a table of content maybe. On the book, no, we don't have a content. Okay. Now what we could also try is selection. And here, let's say the text is right to left, maybe that helps. Now let's create a node. First marking a line. Let's see how that works. Actually, that's quite good. That seems to work quite fine. Now, let's scribble something. Looks good as well. And let's take a screenshot of some area. Yes. And I guess as usual it should show up. So what we see is that even though there was no table of contents before, now we have a bit of a table of contents. Let's see what the M92 gives us in that regard. I quite like that you can immediately give um, your annotation a name, which is something you need to do on the pocketbook by then long pressing the title and then you can rename. Okay, going back here, we could have another mark. Okay, let's try to scribble something, sketch.
Okay. And what else do we have? I think that's basically it. I haven't tried the merge sketch yet. Would be interesting to see if that actually modified the PDF file. I will write in the blog, uh, in the forum post about it. Last thing. is searching in PDFs. I use my Plone 4 book. It's by PackPub and I have the feeling that they have, I don't know, their PDF and EPUB producing systems don't seem to be that great. Everything takes a bit longer with their books. Mm. But then I think problematic PDFs are not that rare, so we might as well try with those. And so here we are somewhat on the same page. Let's look for a word proposed, proposed. Okay, that was fast enough. I guess we need to do that at the same time in the next try, but let's look for proposed here. Yes, and that's much more like what I'm used to. It uh, at times takes quite a while. It might be that the trick is that the M92 starts searching from the page you're on, while the pocketbook starts from the very beginning. And as we are in the middle at the, of the book, 253, it's probably slightly unfair to the pocketbook. My feeling is we now need to wait a while. and maybe another while, you might see the reflection of the green LED here, which usually indicates that the pocketbook is busy doing something. Well, while the left side is searching, we might as well play around. And try the glyph embolden, which is something I just love. Yes, works quite nice here as well. The pocketbook still seems to be quite busy. So it's it might be faster than um, flipping through all the pages in the printed book and search by hand, but not quite what we would like to have. So, okay, this is, I'm giving up on this. I basically now kill the reader and go into the book again.
I guess what we could do is quickly search here for the word proposed again. Oops, I only see now that it was already in there. Might be good. That was fast. Let's search for the next occurrence. Okay, that might mean that it didn't find one. Let's look for a more common word. Okay, this is actually quite fast. Now, last try with the search. We search for a word that's probably not in here. And we do the same. over here so we have R then some D's some E's and some F's so let's see how long it takes for them to tell us that it's not in there and off we go this is a bit Oh well. Hmm. Um, that is quite a difference. I'm surprised by that. Well, I guess I um, don't keep on waiting till the pocketbook has decided that it hasn't decided. So that's it for now. Thanks.